Hi, I'm Dr. Ashdeep Kaur Anand. I'm the senior consultant and the clinical director at PCMH Resto Health and the trustee of an NGO Being Positive Foundation. I practice at PCMH Resto Health at Shanti Nagar, Bangalore. The question asked to me today is uh, uh, how and when to administer PEP and PrEP and where is PEP and PrEP available? It's a very, very important question and um, people should know what is PEP and what is PrEP. So PEP is post-exposure prophylaxis. That is when a person has been exposed to risk of HIV, they should receive medication to prevent the risk of getting HIV by taking these medications. Now these medications are given in a pill with two medications in it and post-exposure prophylaxis should be started within 72 hours of an exposure. It could be that it could be a sexual abuse where a person has undergone a sexual abuse by force or it could be that you have had an exposure with someone whose status or whose HIV status you are not aware of. So in those situations, it is always better to seek help from your specialist and get the post-exposure prophylaxis immediately as soon as possible within 72 hours but preferably as soon as possible and uh, post-exposure prophylaxis is available at all the government centers and also with clinics and hospitals where you have the HIV specialist or an expert and uh, pre-exposure prophylaxis that is where it is the medications to prevent HIV transmission is given before a person has a sexual exposure where you know that the person you are going to have sex with could be HIV positive or you do not know the status of the person with whom you are going to have sex with and uh, it could pre-exposure prophylaxis is given in two manners it is uh, what is called episodic and a regular prep episodic is where you plan to have a sex with someone or it could be even a discordant couple where one person is positive and the other is negative and you plan to have sex so you take the medication 24 hours before having the sex and then continue for next two days after sex so that would prevent from getting HIV and the other is a regular sex this regular sex is advised for people who are into a regular sexual activity who do not plan as to when to have sex or those who have more than one sexual partner. In these situations, it is always better to have a regular PrEP that is pre-exposure prophylaxis where it is taken continuously over a longer period and as long as you continue to have sex. And pre-exposure prophylaxis is still not under the guidelines of NACO, but WHO does recommend taking pre-exposure prophylaxis. So it is available with all the clinics and hospitals where you have the HIV specialist or an expert. So I would suggest that please meet your HIV specialist or visit the clinic with HIV care for and ask for the PrEP or PEP.